Welcome to Koi Channel. I'm sure that, once in a while, most of you wonder how Earth looked like before the plants were blooming and animals were running around. Well, for a long, long time, roughly between 4 and 2.5 billion years ago, the Earth was the kingdom of microorganisms. Yellowstone National Park has very diverse and interesting communities of microbes that live in or near geothermal springs. Those microbes form colorful layers of slimy substance that bear close resemblance to microbial communities of the Arcan Earth. I'm going to use the pictures we took in Yellowstone as a time machine to travel with you a couple of billion years back to the time I decided to call the slimy Earth period. To be clear, current theories name deep ocean thermal vents as a most likely birthplace of life on Earth. They were injecting cocktails of chemicals into the water, supplying early life with energy of chemical bonds. It took a while for ancient organisms to figure out how to harness the energy of sunlight. It is possible that the light-catching pigments were initially developed as sensors for infrared radiation emitted by thermal vents. Higher temperature makes chemical reactions run faster, giving an advantage to those forms that can get closer to the source. Bright orange colors you see on these pictures are due to the pigments from microorganisms that live in hot water. Scientists call this kind of life forms extremophiles, referring to their ability to survive under unimaginable levels of temperature, salinity, and acidity. The temperature was quite high during the Archean era due to the greenhouse effect until the ancient cyanobacteria consumed CO2, leading to the cooling of the atmosphere and decrease in the atmospheric pressure. Next time you look at the blue sky and enjoy a cool breeze, you will know who to thank for it. Our tiny, fearless, restless, countless microbes that conquer harsh environment of the young earth. They grew covering the bottom of the sea in ocean lagoons with slimy layers called microbial mats. For a while, the oxygen produced by oxygenic photosynthesis was captured by iron in the form of rust, which was settled down on the bottom of ancient oceans, creating many of the deposits of iron ore that humans mine nowadays. But the iron got exhausted and oxygen started to accumulate, reaching levels toxic for many anaerobic organisms, causing the first mass extinction known as the oxygen catastrophe, oxygen holocaust, or great oxygenation event. This sad circumstance, however, set the stage for multicellular organisms that were able to use oxygen for faster and, should I say, more aggressive metabolism. There was a slight side effect of these changes, namely Huronian glaciation, during which Earth turned into an ice ball. Wow! Earth really had a turbulent past, and living organisms were the powerful source of change from the early days of our planet. Thanks for watching! Be sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. See ya!